Hey peeps, what's going on? It's Brian again. Bye, my lonesome. I think Gary's taking his mom back to the airport, so he'll be down later. So I'm back. I'm gonna continue tearing apart some more of the car. Project Tetanus is holding up. So I think I'm gonna work on this fender a little bit, see if I can get that fender skirt out of the inside of it, and see if I can get those last couple bolts out and we can drop this fender. Which means I'll probably have to take this front uh, bumper fascia off too, so. I'm sure I'll be sawing some more pieces and parts off because I don't think this guy's going to give up the ghost very easy. So, throw you guys on a time lapse and we'll be back in a little bit. Hey, welcome back peeps well we finally got it off a few rusted bolts well yeah, as you can see that's pretty much everything is rusted so we had to get the easy out kit a few times here my trusty craftsman easy out kit that I've had for a long time <clears throat> kind of need one when you work on old Jeeps cars everything's rusty but anyway so we got the fender off now we'll just start moving around there I took some of the door trim off uh, you saw the kick panel come out in pieces because it just dry rotted from the heat and uh, yeah we're just making our way around you can't do anything with the rear panels until I get the interior torn out so I can get these because the uh, interior parts of these panels are actually metal so i have to get all these out so i can get all the glass out that's still good all the glass and the trim work and everything else that i can keep and then we probably rip out the interior here pretty soon and then i'll start on the driver's side get that torn apart once i get the other fender off over there uh, my plan is to cut this bumper off because it's just going in the scrap pile I'll get this other fender off that's had some 
looks like at some point or other they hit a they hit something there there was an accident pushed it back into this door so we'll do the same thing on this side i'll just once the interior's gone i'll pop the door off we'll get the fender off and then uh once both fenders are off bumper's gone i'm going to take the support plate out for the radiator housing then we'll be ready to yank the engine out so we'll get the engine and transmission out yeah that's probably a good plan for now so yeah we'll just keep cutting and chopping and doing whatever we need to do there and until i'm down to a bare frame and then i can sand it and grind it and paint it and uh, put a subframe connector in because i don't know most of you haven't worked on a first gen mustang like this the subframes actually separated there's a gap underneath the pretty much underneath the driver the seats so they make subframe connectors so you can they uh bolt the two halves together and give you some more support for your drive shaft so we'll throw one of those on there anyway peeps until next time take it easy if you like what you see any comments concerns questions we'll try to answer whatever we can and uh yes click on that like button hit the subscribe button and we'll see you in the next video take it easy peeps